Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn what is Query Store in SQL Server 2016 and how to enable it. In this demo, we'll be learning number one, what is Query Store. I'll give you a brief introduction of this new feature of SQL Server 2016. Number two, how to enable Query Store of a database in SQL Server 2016 because by default, um, Query Store is disabled on a database in SQL Server 2016. Number three, uh, once we enable SQL Server, um, once we enable Query Store on SQL Server database, um, we'll look at different options. So, um, what is Query Store? It basically captures queries, query plans, runtime statistics, etc. It can also enforce policies to direct SQL Server query processor to execute in specific manner. Before that, in previous versions, we had some control, but uh, this will give us a lot more control. We can direct SQL Server query processor that how it should execute our query, uh, what plan it should take. Number three, contains uh, it contains query workload history. You can always go back to the workload history and do some analysis. Number four, it, uh, these analyses basically help system-wide and database level performance analysis and troubleshooting. You can uh, use Query Store basically to troubleshoot any um, uh, issue, the uh, performance issue that is happening at the moment or if it happened last night or whenever it happened because it basically uh, store the workload as it mentioned in C up here. Uh, new system views are added to support this query store. I'll show you uh, real quick once we enable the query store and I'll show you that where those new views are. So let's go ahead and uh, enable our query store and take a look where it is. Here's my SQL Server uh, Management Studio. This is CTP SQL Server Management Studio 2016. So <clears throat> if you take a look on the databases right here, these three databases, DW Configuration, DW Diagnostics, DWQ, these are the three databases support Polybase new feature of SQL Server and it gets installed when you install SQL Server 2016. Uh, up here I have created a new database. Creation of the new database in SQL Server 2016 is no different than SQL Server 2014, 12 or 2008. So I went ahead and created uh, Tech Brothers IT right here. So in order to enable Query store on any database in SQL Server 2016, you need to select the database, right click on the database and go to the properties. If you take a look, the properties doesn't look any different than previous versions except query store options right here. As I said that it's a new feature in SQL Server, um, new option that you get when you create a database in SQL Server 2016. Let's click on query store. As I mentioned that uh, by default is uh, false is disabled. You have to enable it. Let's go ahead and take a look on different options. Operation operation mode right here actual is read write and operation mode requested. If you wanted to basically request you can if you click up here you get two options read only and read write only. If you wanted to enforce some policies to direct SQL Server query processor it has to be in read write mode right here. But um, uh, you can just go ahead and click on read only mode and all it does is that whatever the information that you requested to um, it to capture it will just read from the system up here data flush interval in minutes every 15 minutes this this would by default is 15 minutes but um, what it does is that um, it captures the data from the memory every 15 minutes and write to the disk for historical purposes. Statistics collection, you can do the statistics of the database. Uh, if you wanted to capture it, you can do it in hours and the option gets in hours, minutes and all that. But uh, the recommendation is that really, I would recommend that do it uh, every hour unless you're troubleshooting um, the database right then. Um, Query store retention, this is all about retention, maximum size, uh, the file size of a query store when it stores the data it, it puts in a file and you can mention the size of the file. Query store capture mode right here is again read write or um, read only. The size based cleanup mode right here is that uh, once you wanted to, let's say that uh, you put it up here 100 MB and you wanted to delete after a certain size, it will start deleting that. And a uh, stale query threshold in days, that how many days that you wanted to basically keep the um, query store, all the information that it does. So uh, our next, um, our next uh, thing is that let's go ahead and enable our query store and you will see the by default options that appears here. Uh, some of the options that you 
can change and some of the options you can't change such as operation mode actual you won't be able to change that but you can request the operation mode um, uh, and you have two options read write or read only so let's go ahead and enable that in order to enable you just need to click on this little arrow right here and make it true as soon as you enabled query store on a database you will see different options the options that you have um, you know you can change are bold right here the options that you cannot change are right here grayed out so operation mode as I said that you can request read only or read write flushes uh, this is the 15 minutes every 15 minutes it will start writing on the on the disk and statistics collection by default is one hour if you just wanted to basically go ahead and um, change that if you take a look on that it's in minutes five minutes ten minutes if you are running into performance issue of a database and you're troubleshooting right then you might want to do it in minutes rather than in hours but if it's just a uh, as far as uh, the history concerns that you wanted to keep the history and you wanted to do some analysis later on uh, it'll be a good option to do it in hours up here uh, 100 MB is by default size of a query store so you can change it right here if you wanted to do more uh, query store capture mode is all right here if you you have none all and auto so what it does is that uh, if you do all it will be full-fledged features of query store and it will capture everything that what it's supposed to do but you can do it auto and later on you can go in manually um, through T-SQL you can uh, basically choose pick and choose what it's supposed to do and what it's supposed not to do for you um, right now the size based cleanup uh, is off right here you can enable it all you need to do is auto and based on your selection right here on your retention it will basically uh, purge the query uh, store data and you can manually do it if it, this is off you can also once you enable it you can come back to it and click OK or click on purge uh, query data and it'll start purging right away as you can see right here the current disk usage is this is our database uh, for MB and query store used uh, is none we haven't enabled it yet we haven't clicked OK and uh, once we start running on different queries this size will increase you can basically right click on the database and uh, go to the properties click on query store and take a look at how much the space query store is using at that moment and query store used right here right now is uh, selected hundred you can change it and click OK so all we need to do right now is click OK so our query store is basically enabled on this database so any query that will run that it will basically start collecting the data so our next next target is that uh, I'm going to show you the views that uh, Microsoft has added in order to support this um, uh, query store feature if you go in system views go all the way down here in Q section right here as you can see the sys query store plan and um, store query right here all these views you can once it's enabled you can basically and your query starts running you can use the system views uh, and take a look on report query store um, basically is also added in our standard reports which we will cover in different videos and uh, in this video I just wanted to show you that how to enable it what is the use of it and uh, what views are added in this uh, in order to support this new feature of SQL Server 2016 and I hope this video helps